Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick. As we listen to this uh, appropriate rock music thundering away, because this is Harley Davidson on the Commodore Amiga, published by Mindscape in 1990. The idea is you're an American biker based in Maine. You have 10 days to race across to reach Sturgis. Speed isn't always necessarily the way, but we're going to step on the gas here. And um, yeah, based on the motorbike Harley Davidson founded in 1903. So we'll see how this one plays. There's a lot of weak racing games in the Corridor Omega, a few good ones, so we'll see if what category this falls into. It's uh, typical in stages, you can go to the store each time, uh, get upgrades for your bike, and you must avoid the police as well. Uh, you can stay within the speed limit, you're not going to get done. So here's this guy looking pretty clever. What's your name, bro? Well, it's going to have to be Nick, isn't it? What's your name, bro? Uh. If I can spell my name, you can take it. N I C. And K, there we go. That's me in there. Who is that fellow? There's another biker man with unusual glasses on. Um, am I baby faced, peach fuzz, bushy? Uh, I don't know what I am. But this is important. I need my levers, I need all my stuff. I've never owned a motorbike, I haven't owned a Mark Harley Davidson. Uh, there's all our skills there, we can go up or down, um, just to make, build a sort of like character. Yeah. Who's this guy? I don't think I want to hang around with these dudes, they don't look particularly cool. Anyway, I'll up my riding ability, my, my brawling's never been great, so we'll zip that down. Uh, and that is my character, I don't know what difference it makes to the game, maybe none. Mindscape 1990, I believe they also did 4D sports driving, which is a completely and utterly different game to this one. There's my biker man in his Harley Davidson. Um, yeah, lots of different options here preventing me getting into the game. But we start off in Maine, we have to go around to Sturgis. What have I gone in here? Options, anyway, let's get out of there. Now we've got to keep our fuel up, we've got to get money by doing each stage, if we run out of fuel we're, we're doomed, if we crash too many times we're also doomed. I don't know what the speed is going to be like on this game, I can only but hope. Hello, yeah I, I, he looks a bit dodgy to me. Yeah, press fire to continue, we are doing. Let's get out of here. No music to accompany this bit, which is a bit of a worry. Load. Might need an edit on this bit. Why isn't it loading? Maybe it's crashed. Oh, we're off. Right, okay. There was, there was no, there was no meat for me to go to there, so I might as well leave the city, go up the road. Remember, we got ten days, but this review probably is not going to last ten days. I understand that motorbiking in the United States is a lot more fun than motorbiking in the UK because there's more room. Oh, <laughs> and that, that's how you do it. Right, it's manual gears. There's my foot there on the right. We've got five gears represented by the green buttons going up. Doesn't look like we can slow down and you have to control the whole thing on the mouse. Um, it's not going very fast, is it? Right, okay, so mouse controls is always interesting on the bike. Uh, controls quite well. Bit of undulation there, which I'm always a fan of. Um, maybe the bike's going to get a lot quicker later on, but the instructions say it's not all about speed, it's about avoiding obstacles. So, let's get round this fellow. Oops, oh dear, that would have been us dead. There's the Harley Davidson logo on the left. In the middle there is all our dials. Rev meter on the right, uh, speed dial on the left. And you can see our fuel in the top middle, so we've got plenty of fuel left over. After a while, we um, get to the next stage. Now, if speed isn't um, a main factor of this, it's going to be a very boring game. You can just poodle around, <coughs> avoiding all the obstacles. It looks like the police have got us very suddenly. So no build-up, no chase. We're just in the corner. I didn't like that whatsoever. So it's a it's a slow start to the game. Hopefully, it gets a little bit better. Uh, it's got enough to it to be unique. I like the uh, horizon there gameplay at the moment is a little bit flat there's not too much going on but this is only stage one maybe it's gonna heat up a bit no other bikers to race so far but maybe that happens later on down the line as we race with other or ride with other Harley-Davidson owners across the USA which sounds pretty cool 
Uh, this guy's pretty much on his own at the moment, trying to get to the rally meet. And he's crashed over a log. I, I'm not liking this. At the moment, I'm not liking this at all. Also come out on the Atari ST and the PC. Don't believe it had a sequel. So any Harley Davidson fans out there might want to buy this. I would go with the Harley Davidson um, pinball table instead, part of the pinball arcade, rather than this. Yeah, this isn't... Yeah, terrible. This isn't going to replace a um, actual real riding on the Harley Davidson, because that must feel pretty cool. This is the complete opposite. doesn't feel that cool at all. The frame rate is pretty smooth. The road is moving quite smoothly forward. Scenery is, well, average, but this is 1990, right at the start of the 90s. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it, really. Um, I'll keep riding in case anything exciting happens. Whether we get into any races, just crash into police cars, that can be the end of the game? No. One mouse button to uh, go up the gears. The other mouse button to accelerate. Um, a few m biking games have mouse control. Hard driving as well, which wasn't a biking game. But that was a poor conversion on the Amiga. Um, yes. I'm not enjoying this at all. It's quite easy to control on the mouse. That's one good thing to say in it. Looks like you can go off the road without losing any speed. As long as you don't hit any obstacles, you're pretty cool. Cool, it's Dolesville, isn't it, this? Yulnarama. Did you have... Oh, God. Did you have this game as a kid? Or growing up? Do you like the game? It's... See, no chance there. It's very, very mediocre indeedy. Um, better than Crazy Cars 1, I'd have to say. Uh, better than 1,000 cc's. It's smoother than that. But at the bottom of the pack, it would fail to qualify in my book. Couldn't get away with that nowadays. Maybe it goes, as I say, a bit quicker once you get the upgrades, but it's just too frustrating. Can't really see the uh, things on the road much warning there before you crash into them. Cars running you over for no reason. They wouldn't do that with a real Harley Davidson. Surely they'd have a lot more respect. Mm, I wonder if this is Route 66. I'd like to go to the States, go down Route 66, maybe on a Harley Davidson. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, the likelihood of it happening are quite uh, low. Must be quite good being in a pack of other racers. If you've done that, let me know. If you are saying yes to that, you're probably based in the United States. So, um, yes, different ways of life. I would like to live in the States, but I live in cold England. I don't know why. I guess I do. I was born here and haven't got the money to get out. And crash again and the Grim Reaper turns up and, um, yeah, that was rubbish. What a rubbish game. Right, well, um, I won't just... Look, R.I.P. by the side of the road. I can't be bothered to read all that. We'll, we'll have another go. We'll have another go. I'll try and fast forward before the start stuff. See if I can show you a bit of extra gameplay. If, in fact, there is any at all to be seen. Motorbike in, yeah. I've waited so long to find out. I found out, yeah. I found out this game's got nothing much more to offer. We've got our motor running, we've stepped onto the highway, and it's exactly the blooming same. The blooming same all the time. El Rabi Show. It's one of these reviews where it's going to go on longer than I really want it to, because I. That's awful. Because I want to hope that something suddenly happens out of the blue. Um, you've got no chance of outrunning the police, you're just suddenly there at some random bit of the game. Unless, of course, you go under the speed limit. And to be honest with you, who's going to do a racing game completely under the speed limit? That's no fun. I remember one time I played Grand Theft Auto and I tried to be law-abiding in it and lasted about five minutes. It's impossible. It's, it's impossible to be law-abiding. You're going to hit a lamppost, the police are going to be after you, and, and that's that. Yeah, nothing going on again. Nothing going on at all. They're going to meet me further up the road. I've got a funny feeling this is going to keep happening over and over and over and over and over again. Are there any other Harley Davidson games on the Commodore Amiga I don't know about that are better than this one? A presentation is quite cool. Uh, it's just it doesn't come together in a very good game whatsoever. There's Abdul's Petrol. Uh, we've got two dollars to fill up the petrol tank. That woman looks someone of very loose morals, but I let her off because it's quite hot. We're in East Point, Maine now. Going across the states. Maine. 
Uh, also a part of a, a lion's head, I believe. Or is it or is it a horse's? A horse has got a mane, a lion's got a mane. And a USA have got a mane. So that's what those three things have got in common. Um, I had a main meal at a restaurant, so that's that as well. Right, it's the same. It's the same blooming background again. It's just, it could almost be the same stage. Well, if you have completed this game, there might be one of you out there that I have that clicked on the video because you owned it as a kid, and games you owned it as a kid are always a lot better than looking back at them because you've got your nostalgia goggles on and it brings up memories. But if you have actually completed this game, then let me know below. How many stages are there? How long did it take you? And more importantly, what happens at the end? Does it just say game over? What actually occurs? Oh, dearie me. Is anyone still awake out there? Check out the speed of this thing. Lots of trees there, all looking roughly the same. But that's, um, I, I won't mark it down for that because uh, a lot of games, they would have the same clip art going by. That's pretty much standard stuff. I mean, if it went a lot quicker, if you look at Vroom, a uh, really fast Formula 1 game, if this went a lot quicker, it could be like Vroom, but on a motorbike, but it just goes so slow. Come on, floor it, big nose, keep going. Born to be average. Down, 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 get your motor running. Don't fall asleep now. Looking for adventure or crashing over a log? Did uh, this doesn't happen? Getting bored every night and day. Yeah, I don't like this game. There was a crash. There was a crash car by the side there. Um, this is Rebel without a clue. This one. Um, you know. Can we go any slower than this? We might get overtaken by a Sinclair C5 in a minute. I don't think there's ever been a Sinclair C5 rally down Route 66 across the USA because they've only got a battery life, I think, of about 15 minutes. Uh, I don't know how far you can get in 15 minutes, but certainly not to work or maybe halfway up the shops and then it's over to pedal power. How long have we been playing this? It seems like 50 hundred years. Oh, well, what a surprise. Uh, I think that might uh, dictate the end of the stage. We've got a fine. We'll never try and out-talk the policeman because uh, that never works. And then we'll get a $100 fine and have no money left. But hopefully now we can uh, join in with some other riders. Fingers crossed, folks. Right, here we are. Right, what's going down? We'll fuel up. If we've got any fuel. Have we got any money for it? No, this rather lovely girl tells us we've only got $1 worth. Thanks, girl. Who is that? She doesn't look like she was ready for the photo to be taken. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, next up. Are we going to have some sort Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to hit myself over the head with a plank of wood in a minute. How many stages do you have to do before this game actually gets going? Maybe it doesn't get going. Maybe it was released on April Fool's Day and nothing good's ever going to happen. Ever, 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 Trevor. Ugh. Where are all the bikers? I should have started further up. Well, it's not possible. Anyway, we're at East Port in Maine still. We're still in Maine. I need to get out of Maine. If you're from Maine, comment below. What's going on in Maine? Um, yeah... Come on. What other states border Maine? I think there's only about one, isn't it? And it's the same scenery again. The same horizon. Could almost be the same stage. It's going to be the same traffic. It's going to be the same gameplay. It's the same trees. It's the same telegraph poles. It's the blooming same. I wouldn't have liked to play full price for this game. I would have felt a little bit ripped off. Saving up all your pocket money for this thing. Maybe it was bigger in the States than it was in England. There's more Harley Davidson in the States than England, of course. English roads aren't great to do a trip like this on. They're always crowded. Uh, we just haven't got the space and the open road that you have in the US, if you're from the US. I think other countries in Europe are also pretty much clogged up. Oh. Broom, broom, broom. Fuel gauge looks pretty healthy. You've got a fuel tank of fuel. Full, full tank of fuel, I should say. But we're not going to keep going until it's completely run out because... 
I don't think I think YouTube servers deserves to have something better on it than the, this gameplay. But having said that, though, looking at all the other dross about, maybe this is is okay. Maybe this is the highway to hell, which never ends. Um, there could be mountains in the background. They look a bit like pyramids. Slight undulation, as I say. Um, I'm an undulation fan, so well done for them. Although they've made a pretty boring game, undulation saves it ever so slightly. And it is it is smooth. The road is smooth. It's not it's not jolting around at all. So they are plus points. But you know, sometimes a lot of plus points don't make a very interesting game. How could they have tweaked this to make it better? Well, engine sounds are okay. They could have made it quicker. Uh, they could have made the race element happening a bit earlier. And uh, they could have made that a little less frustrating. Uh, it could have been a really good game, but it isn't. It's a shame, really. You can see that there are bits which could have gone really cool. 1990. That's a while ago now, isn't it? Right, we'll just get to the end of this stage, and we'll probably call it a day, unless anything exciting happens where we meet up with our chums and there's a load of bikes going along at the same time. Hello, policeman. I thought you'd be there. Not as good as the police in Test Drive 2, but you have a bit of a car chase then, and need for speed. Here, it's just suddenly you're pulled over on the side of the road. Yeah. Right, okay. Please, 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 may there be something to do. Still in East Point, Port Main. Fuel up. Probably haven't got enough money for fuel now. Nope, this woman says nope. No fuel, dude. Or whatever she says. Um. Please be something be going on. Fingers crossed. Gazoinks! What the hell is with this game? How long do you have to be playing it before you actually meet up with people? Look, what have we been playing about over 15 minutes now? I haven't got I haven't got the patience to go through this. I think there was a save mode, so you can save it in between. But I'm I'm not a big fan of these grinding games where it takes ages for actually anything to happen. It just takes the Mickey out of the user. Right. Shall we end it? We'll do one more stage, shall we? Just see if we can meet up with our chums, and that'll definitely effortly. Definitely, effortly, weaponly be it. Born to be rubbish. Down, 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 down. Go. Right, don't fall off your bike. If you over rev it, like I did early on in this review, and don't accelerate, you will just fall over like a wally. Right, so what can you say about this stage? Same scenery, same as before, same background, same trees, same everything. Same grass. Maybe they can have made the grass yellow or brown or something in some of these stages. But this grass takes a lot of watering. Uh, it doesn't look like the desert at all. Main. Maybe we should have stopped at that car that I pulled over. Maybe that's a, a thing you can do. Right, drive down the middle of the road. That might be a way of avoiding stuff. I think it might be. Don't do this in real life, folks, but the safest way in this looks like driving down the middle of the road unless you come up to a puddle, because I'm sure if you went through a puddle, it'll knock you clean off your motorbike. Oh, dang you, police. Here come the police. Can we get round this log in time, or rock which is on the road? Yes, we can. Who's putting all these rocks on the road as a Corvette zips past? Looks like a Corvette, might not be. Oh man, I don't know what speed it says on that speedo, but it's not the speed we're going. Brum brum, did 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 did. De. Thomas the Tank Engine music there, and that goes well with this. Did 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 Come on, did 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 did. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine said. I'm going too slow. Uh, sorry about that. My brain just flatlined and needed to be rebooted. Get to the end of the stay. Oops, yes, yeah, I thought that would happen. Is the Grim Reaper going to turn up like before and end it? This is... this... yeah. I won't be playing this again. I prefer Highway Hawks to this one. At least Highway Hawks had some speed to it. It's a game we reviewed over a month ago now. It wasn't the best game in the world, but 
it, it was it was better than this. Too slow, Amigo. Too slow. Maybe if you had it on an Amiga 1200 and tweaked with it, it'd go a bit quicker. Yeah. This is the last stop we'll make. Right. Okay, PC. Chips. Come on, load, load, and then we can get out of here. Can we? Right. Is there anything going on? Are we going to meet up with our friends? Are we suddenly going to be with other riders? Because that's what Harley Davidson, being a Harley Davidson rider, is all about. No. Well, that I'm completely and utterly fed up with this game now. Awful, awful, awful. Um, it just frustrates you. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that once. You know to avoid it. Well, that was Harley Davidson on the Commodore Amiga, published by Mindscape in 1990. If you've got any comments about this game, um, further things that happen in it, or similar games, or worse games, or anything retro or Amiga related, then by all means put that below. It's always welcome. Uh, I love a bit of activity created on the video and all the videos, no matter how old they are. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.